Hello everybody and welcome. We are drafting Ravnica City of Guilds today. I learned that that's the full set name because I did not know that. Uh, I have drafted this head twice and I don't really know what I'm doing, but Luis has drafted a million times and if we don't 306 so you can blame him. Uh, Glare of Subduel? Oh yeah, that card. Look at it. Tap a creature to tap any creature. Oh, this was in... Um, this was in Conspiracy or... Like Conspiracy 1 or 2 or like one of those old... Or like Eternal... One of those alternative draft formats, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Tap an untapped creature, you control tap target artifact or creature. So this is like... Um... An opposition that can't tap lands, which is good, because tapping lands Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but you know, so it's like fixed opposition in parts. different colors? Yeah. Okay. Gee, Hex is kind of nice, too. <laughs> Whoa! Destroy six target creatures? So you do need so you do need six, six targets. Okay. It's actually great with glare because you just lock their creatures down for a while, then you hex them. Oh, so we just want to be absence. Yeah, yeah, and that's absence good because uh, it's solid to be just Golgari splashing white or Celestia splashing black. Okay. Either way, there's like it, it kind of overlaps twice. So that's All pretty right, good. I'm in. Mm. None of this is great, mm. right? No, Shambling Shell is, is pretty decent. Really? I, I had a fine. couple of those in my last draft. I was not really impressed with them. Yeah, they were better when damage stacked. Uh, Dark Blast is also like pretty oh, good. Oh, wait. Damage used to stack back when this was a... Uh... Mm -hmm. That's how long ago this was? Yeah, Revnico is in 2006. It's 11 years old now. It's kind of insane. That's crazy. All right, we'll take Shambling Shell. So you want to be like green black base probably splashing white is this good or if you get enough fixing you could just be all three mm. golgari signal is nice uh seed spark is actually pretty good in this format it kill it's a disenchant and if you pay green it you get two on ones just because there are a lot of enchantments and random artifacts like Cygnus and stuff. It's, I wouldn't hate taking Seed Spark, though maybe just Scatter the Seeds is better because it's just so good with Glitter of Subdual. I want to take Scatter, I think. Yeah, yeah I think that's probably right. Uh... Ooh, Bounce Line is great. So uh, it, this is what you were saying the other day when we were, or when you, I think you were in my stream where I was streaming, you just drafted. I didn't get any bounce lands. How high of a pick are bounce lands? You think? Uh, they are like first picks. I think they're they're. Of they're probably better than all the commons, but a couple. That's pretty so. cool. <laughs> I like the Tay Tay. The moment you're watching Gabby on YouTube and then realize she's streaming live, whoa bam. Um. Uh, Farseek is decent because. You can go get a Plains or a Swamp, like it's a, it is a fixer. Yeah. Center Safeguard's just mediocre. Wood Raid Strangler sucks. 3 mana, 3 1. When it dies, you may gain 3. Exile a card from your graveyard, regenerate. Yeah, this seems not great. It's also just a 2 2. I'll just get Farsake, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I like All it. Right. Brain Spoil's not bad. Just to kill spell. 5 mana. Um, destroy can't be regenerated and it transmutes. The Cystic Argomage sucks. Strands of Undeath isn't bad. They discard two cards, but Rain Spell is probably better. It's kind of cool, too. You can uh, transmute for Scatter to Seeds if you're trying to go off with Glare or something. So, transmute is you pay the transmute cost, but then you get a card that of equal CMC? Yeah, so you just you pay the transmute and you discard Brain Spoil and you go get a fire. Okay. I haven't played... I've never played with transmute. I think I've... You've transmuted Teleria West, maybe? Like, is one time, I think, in Cube, and like that was it. <clears throat> Ooh, the turnkey is not bad either. The mausoleum turkey. Oh, I thought you were saying turnkey. Mausoleum. T oh, turnkey. Then I thought you were saying turkey, and I was like, turkey? Well, I was saying turkey because that's what we called uh, it. But <laughs> it is a turnkey. Why not it's sort like by curve? Oh, why is this there. not sorted by curve? Weird. My magic online opened up today, and none of the presets were preset. It was... Oh, yeah. All the settings get. That was bizarre. Janked up. All right, I'll take the turkey. This is not playable, right? No. The only thing it's good at is with glare, you can tap a thing, play a land, untap it, tap another I'll thing. I'll just take the wood wraith, I think. 
but I don't think. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Jester. We uh have two. Of, we got first and second pick. Two of the better rares. Ooh, I think. Dread Pirate Sunshine with the first time sub. Thank you so much for joining. You guys can we get some Viper love and hype in chat for the newest member of the Viper Brood. Thank you for the support. Okay. I appreciate it. Bigger Mortis isn't bad. It's not. It's not looking good right now, but it isn't terrible. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. If green was spent to cast Vigor Mortis, the creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter. Sure, whatever. Maz Dagarinu? Yeah, I really hope to not have that card in my deck, but it is, it is a playable. I had two of those in my last deck. <laughs> oh, I know. <clears throat> it, it's probably fine for you, though. Why? Probably. Why Why like this? Because you drafted less Ravnica, so you're going to draft... Don't 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 ball. play stupid. I'm so mad at you. Don't play stupid. <laughs> don't play stupid. This seems fine, right? Yeah, it's fine. There we go. You, this was a great pack. You one. liar. Real, real good you trade. filthy what? liar. What? Mozdog millionaire. <laughs> hmm. That's kind of sweet. I mean, it's like so expensive, but. Yeah, Dis disembowel is pretty good. Whoa. Just like a solid removal spell. The art of this is creepy. Destroy target creature with converted okay. mana cost X. What does this do? Whenever an aura becomes attached to Bramble Eternal, create two 1-1 one, one green sapperling creature tokens. That's kind of sweet, but this is not for this deck, I don't think. Last cards is yeah. Sephir Spirit. Oh, uh, for the purposes of the recording. <sighs> I'm just trying to help. <laughs> I'm gonna take the disembowel. Yeah, Why I'm so good. me always? Whoa, <laughs> Dejarino. Ooh, bad slanderino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this, you put this on the Bramble guy and you go ham, right? That's the plan. You get four t tokens. I mean, Bramble's fine in this deck, but I do like Disembowel. I would have taken it also. I sure. Think. I'm going to take Celestia Sanctuary. Oh, yeah. Rotworm? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another Bounce Land. Or Rot Farm. I'm going to just take the Rot Farm. It's actually silly how good the Bounce Lands are. They're, they're two for ones. They're lands that draw you a card. Like, if you draw two land and two Bounce Lands, you, you have six mana off four lands. You're just up two cards. They, they were they were underrated even when Ravnik goes around. They're underrated now. All right, let's take it. See, now you can just rot worm or scatter. Kind of want to take scatter. What if we worm. what if we get uh more of those worms, siege worms? <clears throat> what do we want to scatter the scatter I the seed? Was a, I thought this was a, was a family spin, friendly stream. Mm, no, this is this is rated R for ridiculous. <laughs> I do want to take scatter. I think. Yeah. <clears throat> That's, yeah, I think it's so good with this. I think we need Basui, right? Not bad. Fist of Iron Wood's kind of nice with double scatter, like, but you don't have that many low drop creatures, mm. so Stinkwe Dump might be good. I kind of want Stinkwe Dump. Yeah. It was. The card is surprisingly annoying. Was, Your opponent has that. I was impressed with every time I played it, and I was annoyed every time my opponent played it. What's going on with the art here? Carving carriage is great. So it's a three mana two five when an ETB's draw card. It's just a two five. Also, this works yeah. well with this. Yeah, it works well with uh, scatter too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we just use it for mana. All right, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Stonlock. I am actually super, super, super excited. So, I appreciate it. Kirtid is exactly my kind of magic card draws cards blocks. I love blocking, I will say. Yeah, blocking is pretty blocking, great. Blocking, I heart. I want to make <laughs> I want to make a shirt that says I heart blocking on it. <laughs> I really do. I want to take gaze. Sounds good. Uh, this card's real bad. 
Hunted Horror enters the battlefield. Target opponent creates two green green centaur token creatures with protection from black. Nightmare Void isn't bad. Target player bad. reveals his or her hand. You choose a card from it. That player discards that card. And then the judge is for two. Yeah, we can mm -hmm. play this. Clean Darkness is playable, if not good. Two enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets minus four, minus one. All right. Well, we're picking up bulk right now, I think. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. You can play that constructed. Yeah. You want a shirt that says, I heart Flample? Oh, I like that too, lady. Oh, uh, Flample. You don't love... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't acknowledge Flample. Wait, are you serious? Flying Trample's fine, but Flample's How do you not ex acknowledge Flample? Just oh my god! Board. You don't like Flample? Oh no. <gasps> I feel so betrayed. I love the term Flample. I think it's so good. It's horrible. So is, so is Vindictive Mob, but whatever. I don't know. Mm, whatever, I'll just put aside word. That's so bad. How is- you- there are so many things that you don't think are too much nonsense for you, but somehow Flample is? Yeah, I don't- I can't explain it. Top 10 anime betrayals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dokumo says trouble in Paris. Dude, it's so bad. I can't believe it. I'm just, I'm so crushed. Leasing is so bad. Put a card from your hand on top of your library. Return leasing to its owner's hand. It's six mana. Jesus, that card's bad. This deck is great, though. Copy enchantment. You may oh. have copy enchantment. Oh, hello. Yeah, th th this is not a hard pick. <laughs> you you keep ruining my my videos for YouTube. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I would just take okay. I want to see what for the wind phoenix says. One second. Need advice? I'm learning how to play MTG with magic duels and full-blown MTG going to paper. Might be difficult due to the schedule and location, so I'm considering going online. Everybody I talk to says it's not worth it getting into online for various reasons, like clunky UI, expensive digital cards. Should I stay on duels or give MTG a try? What's your advice? That's an interesting question, Phoenix. It really depends on like what you want to get out of it. If you like duels and you like playing on duels, the duels experience might be good for you. I know they are not gonna continue supporting duels eventually, so like you will have to get on mad. Yeah, they've already announced. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, so, so at some point you can't keep just playing duels, but if you wanna, like playing Paper Magic can be hard for some people um, because of location, schedule, what what LGSs offer, what LGSs are close, um, and if you think that that might be challenging, then like. I think Magic Online is very good for that. Like, it's so awesome that you can just, you know, fire up Magic Online and, like, have a draft ready to go. Like, that's not something that you get a lot of times when you try to go to your local store and, like... I have gone to my local store before and had to come back home because the fire, like, the draft didn't fire or something. Like, that sucks. Um, Lurking form is just so dumb. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that card's really good. And it's creature for glare. More than Golgari's signet? All those things. Yeah, I like it a lot more. Alright. Performance real good. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I would probably just putrefy. There's n Hard removal is like... I'm so sad thing. that we don't get to wheel the worm. I know you want the worm, but I would just take the putrefy. Mmm. <laughs> what's this one? Until in the turn, the Rentless Tomb becomes a black and green plant zombie creature with this creature's power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. It's still a lane. All right, let's take the Putrefy. Whatever, man. You're about to play your first sealed at a shop. What do I need to know for that? Ooh, Hunter by Day. Uh, Rotworm? Yeah. M might as well get an undead worm if you, if you, if you can't get a you know, seed worm. <laughs> Well, it, this is also good with all of our scatter the seeds. Eventually, we can just start kind of like fireballing them, you know. Yeah. Uh, for sealed, I think all you want to. I mean, Luis, this is your this is your wheelhouse, right? Giving people advice on sealed and stuff. 
But what, what advice uh, would you give to somebody who's going to do their first sealed? We're taking scatter the seeds, right? Yeah, I think so. I would just, for this format, I would play like, you, you just, you're going to end up playing like multicolored green most of the time. I'd actually take a look at a uh, MJ, Darkest Mage on Twitter. He he plays more sealed than anyone. Yeah, he's ever. he's got to be like that. the... He just posted a spreadsheet with all his records with all his sealed decks. He and, and he like only that. plays sealed too, because he always plays sealed because he's always doing it for like the PPTQ or whatever. He also just likes sealed. He doesn't like draft. That's so weird. I I have never met anybody other yeah, than I him that's I don't get, I don't get Mortipede. That. Yeah. You in there, Mort? Yeah. Yeah. All these cards are are bad. I guess Gather Courage is yeah. okay. Ooh. Uh, is this was this good? It's not. It doesn't give trample. And you have to tap some creatures to play. It is kinda awkward that you can vote and then the creatures that you want pumped are tapped. Yeah. I would take a Demir House Guard because you can transmute it to take to pick up glare, which is also nice. Sure. It's just a solid card. What does it do? Fear, sacrifice a creature, regenerate it. Oh, this also works well with the fact that we have all these scatter the seeds. Yeah. Ooh, strands. I guess Bramble Elemental at some points would be good, but... When strands of the undeath enters the battlefield, target player discards two cards and regenerate enchanted creature. That's not too shabby. Yeah, that's fine. You could also take, potentially, if you wanted to thought Picker Witch. Mm. The strands, I think, is generally better. MJ best self-proclaimed sealed player. He might be, though. Uh -huh. Sundering. I might take Guardian to be too gauzy. If you're splashing white, that card is that card's pretty good. It's it's good with all your scatters. You get to play That's this That's true. Seven. Convoke, seven mana, vigilance. All right, I'm in. Well, I do actually like this card, but I think maybe Sundering Vita as a sideboard card might be this better. This destroys uh, Convokes and destroys artifacts. Yeah. All right, sure, we can take it. Put it in the sideboard. This card's not terrible either. You, uh... First of all, it's good against people to token. Second, you can transmute it for hex, which is nice. Oh, because it costs six. Yeah. When newborn phallus enters the battlefield, each opponent loses one life for each or she, each creature he or she controls. All right. Oh, damn it. I auto-picked. Yeah, I had it. I don't think you're going to play it. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so either. Dried's Crest is pretty good with Siege Worm. Which one? The card you just took for your sideboard. You gain one life for each creature in the battlefield. If white was spent to cast it on top of all creatures you control, that's pretty cool. Just because decks with seizure have a lot of creatures. That's the only thing. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty good. Gotta caress the worm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, oh, that's, that's just... Wait, what? <laughs> I would probably just cut... Uh, Cut Cling Darkness and you're like good to go. Your deck's great. Where is Cling Darkness? Your two drop. You would you play twenty four? Yeah. What kind of form? What yeah? What kind of format was this? Like, it was this like a seventeen land format or what did you? Usually like six sixteen. If you have bounce lands, you don't need to play as many lands though, which is nice. This deck is unreal. This might be one of the best decks I've ever seen. Uh. Classic. Look. Uh. You probably only need the one. You you could maybe play a second planes. You don't really need it, but it's kind of nice to be able to cast Glare. Which one's Glare? Remember, I don't know what all these cards are called. Are called. The Glare, Glare. You have two. The two white cards you're splashing. Oh, the the opposition card. Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's the nice thing about bounce lands too. Is they're also mana fixers. You get to add. You could even add another land. Wait, there's a there's an like, account called LZ Fatherino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. You can just add another, add another forest and you'll be good. I took a I took I put down a forest to get another planes. Yeah, but Moda's trying to make you play. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. So cards. I guess I'll just do this and then bam. Yeah, this deck is great. I should um should tweet this out. Oh yeah. Wait. Uh, uh, stop. Stop, 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 stop.
Why don't you just pin the snipping tool to your taskbar? You use it so often. I should. Save as. Snipping tool is just great. Yeah, I love the snipping tool. Snipping tool is love in life. Uh, Cold Gary, good stuff. I'm gonna pin it now. Pin to taskbar. Bam. See? Ding ding. So they um, they they announced what the par the partner jerseys look like for TwitchCon, and they're not nice. <laughs> Are they dope? No, they're not. They're really... So you're tricking me into going despite the jerseys being bad? I was just going for the jersey. <laughs> yeah, it's probably worth it just for the jersey, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I was going for the company. Boost CDs and Eternal Card Game later with LSV. Damn. Or I guess I don't need to say later. Boost CDs and Eternal Card Game with LSV. Bam. Perfect. Okay. Let's battle. Fantasia, I'll be streaming for a while. Uh... I've noticed that the longer the troubleshooting stream part of the stream is, the longer the actual stream becomes to compensate. Because you're like, I don't want to spend all this time troubleshooting and not get good value. I did spend a lot of time troubleshooting, I will say. Never, never functional stream. Always troubleshooting stream. I probably wrote this. No green. Oh god, yes, we have played. We have played against. Yep, this money chains whips. <laughs> They're gonna get to battle against the siege worm. We'll see how they fare out. Yeah. Uh, Fantasia, you should do that into a stream. That sounds super cute. Oh wait, Banlist is on Monday. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I would have done a forest probably. We're underway. Uh, I don't know, Mabel. I'm, I'm probably one of the better Eternal players, but I wouldn't say I'm like the best. It's not like R and D though. No. Funny thing is, you could transmute that, but I think you just want to keep it. It's better than any other four you could yeah, have. Yeah, our other fours are spells, right? Mm hmm. How much should Death Shadows be banned? Uh, I mean, it is the best card in the. Eh. Yeah, I'd maybe Modern is better if you ban Death Shadow. I think that'd be fine. Do you think Death Shadow is going to get banned? No, I don't. I don't think it will either. I don't feel like it's that big of a problem. I can certainly see the argument for it, but... Alright. Well, that card's not good, which is a good sign. Well, if we draw a green, that'd be great. Now we have all these stuck in our hand. Yeah, but you just need to draw one green and then you're like... Okay, Target shape. player reveals this to her hand, you choose a card from it, that player discards that card. I mean, we're casting that next turn, yeah, I, I guess. I think you're gonna cast that next turn. Hey, JB, how are you? We DBD'd last night, it was good times. Then at some point, Louis hid in a closet and oh ate cereal, and then the killer found him because he had been sitting in the closet for so long. Picked him right off the closet! It was kind of a big bowl of cereal. What is this? What is Money Chains Whips doing? <laughs> wow, that card's really bad. When Infectious Host dies, that target player loses two life. Oh wow, this looks awful. Three mana, one one? Alright. Look, this might be fine even if we're mana screwed. 
Yeah, just Nightmare Void them. This is good. Draw Bounce Land. So I can Nightmare Void oh, them, then play Bounce Land, right? Yeah, god, that was such a good draw. It Ooh, was a perfect it. draw. Oh my gosh, it's that card. Yeah, that card's bad. Like, Rawworms are only, like, good card. I guess Scatter's kind of annoying, but it's not even that. No, Scatter doesn't even matter that They much. don't have Scatter. What are you talking about? First. Oh, okay. Is what when it enters the battlefield, target player discards two cards. Sure. I'm just going to take the Worm. Yeah. Ding. That's the theme of this game. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to pass. Yeah. Also, if they don't do it this turn, we might be able to putrefy in response. Yeah. I don't think they're going to play Hunted Horror, but that would be great if they did. Why do you think they won't? Because that card's just bad to cast. <laughs> Generally. But, like, why would they put it in their deck? Well, that's a good question. I guess if, if you put it in your deck, maybe you're, maybe you're intending yeah, to like, cast it. Yeah, like, why would you put the card in your deck <laughs> if you don't mean to cast it? They're doing strands. Sure. You can oh. just discard. Oh. They drew a mort. Hey, what's up, Ninja? And yeah, I'm going to be playing. Hey, a Ninja. I feel like we sh we're living on borrowed time. I don't think I want to dredge that. Yay! Yeah, yeah that was good because you can play. I oh, know you can't play brown scale and scatter. You can just play a land. I guess you're like one short of double scattering. Yeah, I can't quite get there. Wait, no, you can double scatter. Oh, how? Yeah, this is great. Just you can just cast scatter, then convoke and cast another one. Isn't this five? Yeah. Oh, you don't have to do it now because it's instant, but it is. It, it, you do get to d double scatter. Because you'll have one land untapped, and then you'll have Oh, I'm creatures. sorry, the Celestia Sanctuary is two. Ah, uh, okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I was like, where is this... <laughs> I'm good, thank you, Uncle Jim. Oh, God, if they... Oh, oh God, this is, this is not good for Yeah, them. I'm just going to putrefy it, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ding dong. You killed their best creature and one of their spells. Yeah. We can't scatter, sadly. Yeah. Oh, I'm not worried. I mean, that was so bad for them. Okay, that's been used. They still have Hunted Horror and Civic Wayfinder. If you're lucky, they'll cast Hunted Horror. What does Hunted Horror do again? Oh. <laughs> Destroy target creature with Convert my Cost Lex. I'm just going to play a Swamp and Pass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. I think Street Wraith can be banned... You want Street Wraith to be banned? I don't feel like Street Wraith needs to be banned. I don't know if anything needs to be banned in modern right oh. now. Oh. Hello. Okay. I kind of want to just take it. I just block. Like, look, look, literally I don't know. Go. What's in the format? Hmm. You're the one that's supposed to have drafted this format a lot. This looks like Gaze of the Gorgon, I guess. What is that? As Grifter's Blade enters the battlefield, choose a Grifter's creature you blade. control. It could be attached to it. If you do enter the battlefield attached to the creature, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. Sure. So what's cool about this is you can now scatter, scatter, and then sack one to regen your, your guy, and you, you didn't really lose almost anything. Oh, that's pretty sweet. All right, let me, let me do that. The seeds provide green, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. You just get to go off here. I kind of am going off, huh? Oh, I might as well just... This is going to regen, so it's going to tap anyway. Yeah. Boop. Oh, God. What? No, there's a non-zero chance your opponent... Moves the blade post combat and just bends their wood wraith strangler. It's gonna. Oh be my great. gosh, that would be amazing. 
That'd be so good. Please, cost one. It's just gonna. It's just gonna happen. No, they didn't. Aw, that'd have been so good. I don't think I want. We could dredge it and name. We don't care about either of these, right? I don't think okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna cancel them. What do you do? I would have dredged. When really? Well, you drew. Come on. So. When Golgari Brown Scale is put into your hand from your graveyard, you gain two life from your hand from your graveyard. I see. I don't know. I kind of want to slay. Yeah, do it there. What can Slay. they do? You might uh, kill their infectious host, then you lose two life. And they got scared too. Yeah, hunting horror is real bad against your deck. Also, it's just really bad, but <laughs> it's especially bad against your deck. The fact that they're playing, that it's a, they're pro-black creatures and obviously their deck's gonna have a lot of black creatures is like, what is going on? I'm just gonna take this. Oh yeah. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. They have a Rotworm, a Mortipede. Yeah, they're really doing it with this 3-3 regen. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Mountain. That is odd. What's going on over there? I don't there? know. They're getting. They're gonna jund us out. Something like that. Is it worth this? What do do I you think do? it's worth disemboweling this thing? Well, they just so. eat. They eat one sapperling, but I feel like we don't even care about the civic wayfinder at all. Yeah, I mean, it depends on when they move the blade to, I guess. Oh, they're doing it. I'm letting this go. <laughs> yeah. They start get to eat two of our saplings now with the, these attacks as this. Yeah, but they also might do like some double block on your realm scale and you can like get some value off disembowel sure. or something. I thought it dredged. Mm. Slay. Sure I, say I say that every time you yeah, do you do. No, they're just, uh, I'm going to let this go. I don't even care. Yeah, just take, they take a bunch of damage. This is fine. What's their plan here? What do they got? That card's kind of cool. Spock Number of this, creature cards in your graveyard. In your graveyard, it's still a line. So it's like a 2-2 two -two now? <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that card's particularly good. That's but kind of interesting. It's a cool card. Yeah. The name is cool. It's Svoth Ghost, the Restless, restless Tomb. Svoth. Svoth. Svothus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well done. Let's just say you didn't get sponsored because of your pronunciation skills. <laughs> I tried Dread Pirate. I really tried. <laughs> Swag Tusk? Oh, they're 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 casting it. Oh my god, oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I've never seen those tokens. Uh Sacrifice Voyager Staff Exile Target Creature, return that exiled creature. To the battlefield under its controller at the beginning of the next end step. Oh, so they get to kill uh, one of our centaurs? Yeah. You could kill the hunted whore in response so they don't void or staff the hunted whore, but it's not even clear to me that it's bad for you. Yeah, <laughs> they do. Because then we just get two more, right? Yeah. Should I kill it? I don't I, I don't even know. Like strictly, it's better, or it's technically strictly better to like not give them the option. But if you think it's so bad they, and they might do it, maybe it's better to give them the option. I'll just kill it. I think. It's. Wow, well, no faith. I don't know. It's two, right? Yeah. yeah. Guys, you gotta have faith, faith, faith. No faith. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, they put their they put the card in their deck. Wow. Well. They lost two cards to kill one of your cards, and you get a 3-3 pro black still. 
tasted infectious host. Never, never, never hunted creatures. Like, if you play flashback draft, just don't play the hunted creatures. I uh, had an opponent play the hunted griffin on me, and I feel like we just browned it because we oh. had a stink we dump. <laughs> yeah. We played the Lamasu. Yeah. Oh, that, that's it. Yeah, Hunter Lomasu. And I got the 5-5 five, five mm -hmm. on the ground. Or it was they had the 5-5 five, five and I had the 4-4 four, four on the ground. Yeah, that's pretty bad for you. Or for them. Synthetica uh, asked if the blue one was good. It's like a 3-mana 4-6 unblockable, but they get 4-1-1 one, one goblins. Yeah, that, that one doesn't sound too bad. have uses. Oh wow, you did it. The greatest of the moss dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna slay. Oh yeah. Seems like a good plan to me. Is the flavor of the moss supposed to be Garbo? I, apparently. Uh, I don't... Have there been that many good Lamasus in Magic's history? All I remember is Venerable Lamasu, and he was garbage. I don't remember what that card does. No, but it was like in the last you. couple, three sets or something. And it was not very good. You died to that block, my friend. All right. What is this block trying to accomplish? I don't know. It's not good. They can regen this. And this eats this. And we might as well put this here to actually kill it. What? They have something in their hand that they need elves for? They're about to take five damage. <laughs> yeah, they're going to one. What is happening? I'm so confused. Do you think they wanted to ramp? Hmm. That was a little confusing, yeah, but it also doesn't matter. Same, same, same. Like, they just slammed their land. I bet they have, an, like, an X spell. And they thought they needed to cast it for, like, a, a majillion million. If, if so, they have uh, miscalculated slightly. Why, why else wouldn't they block with the elves? They can just put it in front of this and actually kill it. Or they could have blocked the sapperling. Maybe, maybe, maybe they wanted to make sure you took the damage from Infection Host. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to go. Up. <laughs> well, thank you for trying. I tend not to f try to figure out the motivations behind decisions made on this stream. <laughs> Why? Just because some things aren't explainable. Oh, why? <laughs> Yeah, you should take out that uh, Golgari brown scale and put in like sewer drag. That card's at least a swamp walker. I was impressed with this card. Like, yeah. like, sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let me, let me, let me rephrase that. I, I looked at this card and I thought it looked like complete trash, and I played it and I was like, this is actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, I. You're uh, used to playing with dregs and. That one's better than oh most. God! <laughs> You're in some mood today. I assume they wanted to, something to block the pro black next turn. Oh, that would, I think. That is the best, that is the best explanation I have heard so far. The Dalkin is great. Yeah, I played against a deck that was playing Mill, and they just had a ton of Dalkin Dismissers to, I guess, just disrupt you and slow you down. And I was playing a deck that had pretty expensive creatures, so then the Dalkin Dismissering our stuff was actually pretty annoying. Oh, yeah. Well, Money Chains Whips just does not want to... not want to go to game two. They didn't even see the worm yet. I suppose they have not. <laughs> I 
Hope the opponent doesn't mind the worm to the face because it's coming. Yep. Money chains whips. How's it doing it? <laughs> I mean, I think it's fine to keep it. I don't know. Oh, I would keep it, but this hand is bad. Ooh, that's, that's, that's pretty actually good. a good card in a hand like this. Yeah, so if we get to turn six. <laughs> this chance. Plus, Ravnica's kind, of, Ravnica's kind of slow. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. The, 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 there's only one beatdown deck out of all the four guilds. God, that card's good. Yeah, three mana, two, two, you get a land. Do you prefer the rot worm over the big one? No, the big worm is better. Ugh, oh, awkward. Well, that's bad. You could transmute brain spoil into what? I don't even know if there's a five. I don't even know if there's a five drop you care about drawing. Well, if you draw four non lands in a row or whatever, you're gonna be in trouble. Uh, Bam, we're gonna do this draft draft, and then we're gonna play some Eternal. Uh -oh. We are dying. Mhm. Mm we're like never casting this, right? Probably not. Should I just discard this? Sure. Does that card say destroy target six creatures? It might as well say destroy all of opponent creatures to keep pure. Yeah. I mean, that's a hope, but we are losing very badly to this Mortipede. If we draw a land next turn, even if it's not the right colors, we can disembowel this thing. Oh, yeah. we're dead. Oh, God. That would have been a good draw earlier. Still is like these, but I think you're, I think you're gonna need a little bit more than this. Oh yeah, we are. I feel like we're extremely dead. Cause we, cause L Levi, I think Mozdog can actually like block one of these creatures. Also, we're never dredging Mozdog cause we need lands. Yeah, Mozdog, if you draw a forest and cast it, could be decent. Damn it. That's annoying. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're dead. This is actually just lethal. Rip us, yeah, and then they get to sack two. All right, money chains whips. Too hot to handle. Let's just send it again. Yeah. Uh, I take Fusilot, Earn Gin. Pick one, pack one. You have nine green sources in your deck. You keep having hands without forest in them, but I think you should be fine. Well, we'll get the, like, the rot farm at some point and then it'll be okay. This is more likely to be a 15 land deck than a 17 land deck, I think. We've just, I think, gotten unlucky with the lands that we're drawing. I'm not super worried about it. Yeah. Money Chains Whips takes a sweet time. His or her sweet time. Sideboarding. <laughs> well, if you're going to go through all the effort to get all, you know, to pay the money for the chains and the whips, you don't want it to be over <laughs> too fast. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. I think the name Hex is funny. A Hex and they curse. A Hex. Greek for six. Oh, that is actually cute. Yeah, the flavor text is uh, six words. When killing five just isn't enough. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to write flavor text for wizards. Like I know some I know some people that do it. It sounds like a pretty sweet gig. Yeah. Alright. See. You did it. Yeah, finally green. So I wanna go like swamp then go here rod farm, right? Mm-hmm. And you wanna draw like carbon carry to be a really what good. What does draw. that do? Just like the 2 5 that draws you a card. You want to draw like some cheap creature. Uh, all right. Uh, 
Maybe stink we dump next turn. That's not too bad. Oh, that's good. I would lurk. Looking for him is so good. Yeah, I was getting milled out by this card the other day. They had like three. Oh, a Civic Wayfinder. I wouldn't say to play a Bounce Land turn one. I don't troll like that. Oh, game. So I just play this, right? Um, I just play Moss Dog. Not Scatter? I think you want a Moss Dog. Because you can scatter for cheaper later. Sure, that makes sense. Hey, Code Gorilla, thank you so much for the 16 months in a row. You guys can't get some Viper Love. And hype in chat. I don't think I want to attack because they're probably going to block, right? Yeah, attacking seems. Well, once you're tapped out, I guess you have, you could have Gathered Courage. I would not attack, though. Thank you so much again, Code Gorilla. It is much appreciated. How are you doing today? So, how did Ben become a uh, certified flavor judge, Luis? Was this your doing? Uh, maybe. It was because we were talking about flavor on like Magic TV and Ben was there and he was getting so mad. He was just like, this is so stupid. Why are we talking about this? So I like encouraged everyone to tweet at him flavor questions and he got a bunch of them. Trophy Hunter. Trophy Hunter deals one damage to target creature with flying. Whenever the creature with flying is dealt damage by Trophy Hunter, this turn dies. Put a plus one plus one counter on Trophy Hunter. That's a cute card. Yeah. Good. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a Not one two. two. Uh, I thought this was a two two. Which is why I was suggesting uh, to attack into Civic Wayfinder. I just realized. Never mind. I was just very surprised. Like I said, I don't dig too deep when. when come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> you know, I wouldn't suggest attacking into one, two, into a two, two. You know that. I, I, I thought you were trying to run some sick bluff, and I'm like, that's ambitious. But okay. <laughs> no. Um. So we can't glare and scatter, sadly. Yeah. I think you just want to scatter this turn, probably. Seems fine. Do we want to slay with a Moz Dog? You could. You, you, you trade it for Trophy Hunter. One reason not to is you have Hex in hand. You just want them to build up a bunch mm, of creatures. Fair enough. I'll just pass them. Uh, Magic Weiser. Uh, I'm going to play the Pro Tours this year. That's my plan. Oh, if they do nothing, I might even get to activate Lurking Informant. Oh, the worm! It's okay. Glur does, in fact, handle the worm. Oh no, wait, I can't do it, because I would have to, this is a tap ability, yeah. right? Yeah, I would, I would just yeah. scatter. Okay. That is rude, Shadow Mirror. Yeah, that is rude. <laughs> I don't really get the, the, the motivation. It's like, like, do you think I'm going to think that's a compliment? Yeah. I'm going to be like, wow, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really understand okay. the thought process behind saying something like that. I'm like, okay, cool, well, I don't know. We'll see what what, what Bo, Bonana Man said. That 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 plays. Telling you that you're the only reason watching the stream makes sense. It's your stream. <laughs> Thank you, Bonana Man. It's they're also I think just being they might be just being facetious to the the yeah I think yeah. So. Um, just start glaring them out. Yeah. You are good at you are good at glaring. It's my specialty. Chair also plays. So I want to upkeep this. So what you could do is you could like tap the worm with a uh, with a sapling, slay, and, and then, then tap again, and then attack with like the moss dog, and that's it. And then next turn tap, tap all their, with, the all uh, the rest of their stuff. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, just keep tapping the worm, and you should be fine here. I'm just describing what, what's happening in the game. Oh god, I, uh... Hold on, hold on. No, you're fine. Do I want to just do it at the beginning of combat, you think? Yeah. Isn't it better to do it upkeep so they can't cast a Convoke spell? Oh. Yeah, actually, no, you're right. Convoke actually does change that. Bam.
Oh, I like what Toy said. The only reason I'm watching the stream is because you two are my favorite streamer <laughs> together. <laughs> that works. All right, I'm going to lock it in. Glare ups with dual hex is actually pretty gross. Like, they just have to keep playing creatures to try to get around glare, and you're just like, boom, boom. You're really doing it here. Everdash is the only reason to watch the stream. <laughs> oh, you would like to see Luis do the worm? Mm, Tiger creature gets minus three, minus two, it's a little turn. No, we will not be doing that. <laughs> I streamed yesterday, Bimmerin. Come on. I don't think I want to dredge that. Nah. Because I think strands this turn is going to be pretty good. Ooh, you could, you could do both. You can carry to the end strands. Do I want to... Does this have Defender? It does. Um... I don't know, do I want to put this on the Lurkin Informant? Yeah, probably. I think that's right. Uh, you need to not tap your green, yeah. Yeah, I need to play this and go like that. Ding! What is Aberdasher? It's mod of the stream. They discarded Galvanic card. That's their worst card. Or no, sorry. They discarded also Infectious Host. I, I can believe that. <laughs> Galvanic card catches the battlefield that deals three damage to target creature or player. Wow, this card's good. Yeah. Uh, I still wouldn't dredge it. No, I'm just gonna draw. All right, that's not too shabby. Yeah. I'm just gonna tap all their creatures. I don't think I'm attacking this turn. Seems good. Yeah, Hex is gonna be gross. It's gonna be excellent. Boo. See ya, Fantasia. All right, you, you just can't lose this game. I don't this think. card's busted. I feel like I'm playing cube. Yeah, it, it just is opposition. <laughs> hey, G Cav. <laughs> That's annoying. <gasps> oh. That's really bad. Yeah, you're, you're fine. This isn't but fine. We're is... losing both our removal spell for the worm. Yeah, you, you 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 still you can still just win with glare. Like you can dredge moss dog now. And then you can just play a moss dog. You can lurking and form it to lock down their draw step and tap in all their creatures. Like, you're still just going to win this game. It's just going to be a little harder. Scatter, putrefy. No, milling putrefy wasn't good. Yeah. It's fine, though. Lurk them. Lurk them good. Yeah, that card's still annoying. Oh, we bought him this, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so we need what? One, two, three, four to keep tapping stuff so we can slay with a sapperling. Yeah, might as well. Feels like as long as we control this board state, we will be fine. Yeah, I mean, like, they're all their creatures are locked down. You also, because you have lurk informant, you're you're, you're making it, you're lantern controlling them. Like, you're not gonna lose this game. They even made you discard hex, and you're still just. Oh, playing. I could leave this untapped and then tap their creature. Like, That's they're not gonna good. attack me, right? Ooh, I like that. Oh yeah. It's 
So I'm going to start Look them. slaying with this and anyone. They have four. One, two, three. I guess we can send with this. And then we'll yeah, use the informant. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah. I want to use the informant yeah, this turn, right? Yeah, yeah. You always want to do it on your turn unless like you have a reason to leave it untapped. Yeah, glitter is absurd. Deals one damage to target mm. creature and each other creature that shares a color with it. Yeah, don't want to nope. That, Yard. Hmm? Hey, Woods! The lantern went twice. One Woods, coming back to the count. 11. Gabby All right, they were off it. They were so off it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Woods. I appreciate it. How are you doing today? You guys can get some hyper love and hype in chat for Woods' 11 month return. It is much appreciated. Your deck is great. Yeah, it seems very good. Three bound plans, a bunch of bombers. You, you like... would think that um, losing our um, hex and our other really good <laughs> removal spell would have been bad, but it was just like, a, this is fine. <laughs> Yeah, you were winning by so much that it didn't even matter. Which is unfamiliar for this stream, but... I wonder if I my stream will ever get a compliment from you. Like, ever. <laughs> you come on my stream too much to pretend that you don't actually like this stream. <laughs> you liar. Filthy liar. Here, you put a no, you didn't. That? That's not a compliment. Jeez, Mega Rhino, thank you so much for the five months in a row. I appreciate it. You guys can we get some hyper love and hype in chat for Mega Rhino's five month return. Yeah. Thank you again. You're going to visit Costa Rica soon. Can you guys talk in Spanish to help me practice? Talking in Spanish about magic is really hard. Yes, because uh, there's so much slang. Like, no. Robot cartas. Is that draw? Yeah. This doesn't make any sense. I, I know, but that's how they that's say. That's so it. weird. <laughs> I have heard I, when I was at the World Magic Cup, I was I was like burning the Ecuadorian team, and I oh, could not understand them. <laughs> Hello, good luck, have fun. Hi, good luck, have fun. Donde está el baño? Donde está el gold? Gary Brown skill. Ahí en tu mano. <laughs> I think those clicking noises are African, not Spanish. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. Oh, you thought Luis was using the green screen? No, I'm the one that's in space. Ooh. I fixed my green screen, by the way, you guys. I turned on my green screen yesterday, and my green screen was bad. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, it just, it like, there are settings that you just need to adjust for it to look good, and I had... I had it off. I hadn't used the green screen in a couple days, so all my settings were messed up. What about using a green screen with a picture of my room as a background? That would actually be kind of funny. <laughs> High tech. Yeah. So much technology that... Nah. All right. Well... See, the current bounce sounds great. Yeah, this is cool. And we drew a swamp. Yeah, Gabby used to have a wall of playmates, but then she took them down and put all the playmats up. <laughs> uh, veteran armor. Is it two mana, two, two? Other creatures you can choke at plus two, plus one. Just play this guy. Oh, wait, that's yeah, double yeah. green. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to make the stream safe for work, so I took all the playmates down. <laughs> you replaced them with worms? Mm. They should have turned that into a playmate. I would actually put it up on the wall. It's so funny. It's so funny. Ooh, my opponent's Naya Stuffs. 2-3, getting that value. Hmm, Bimarin. I have some interesting stuff stacked in the corner. I've actually had multiple people say they bought Sushi Go because it was stacked in the corner and I've talked really? about it. Really? Hashtag yeah. please spawn. <laughs> yeah. Uh... We played the, the donut version of Sushi Oh Go. my gosh, it was so good. Fun. I liked it. And I liked Sushi mm. Go Party, though. I haven't played Sushi Go Party since you owned that copy on me. Mm. <sighs> How have I got to play with it? I wouldn't scatter the seeds because then I can guard you in a V2 gas and get them. Yep. And you're playing against the right colors for Hex, too. 
Civic Wayfinder is one of the best commons. The best commons are like Galvanic Arc, Civic Wayfinder, Compulsive Research, Lurking Informant, Vidalkin Dismisser, Faith's Fetters. Faith's Fetters is in this format and it's common? Yeah, it's like, yep, yeah, it's good. Days. Lady, you would like Sushi Go. It's a drafting game. It's like the best part of Magic, except then you get to draft again. And it has cute pictures of... You know what I actually want to do? Like, for reals? An IRL <laughs> Sushi draft. Yeah, that would Wouldn't be cool. Wouldn't it? I would love to do an IRL Sushi draft with you. That'd be sweet. Yeah, because I would get all the good Sushi real late. I just watched you draft a lot on the stream is the thing. <laughs> You're awful. You're so mean. What's wrong with you? This costs eight. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'll just pass. Cast it. Oh I'm sorry, this doesn't have flash. What am I talking about? Yes. <laughs> this is not scatter the seeds. Wait. Oh, the bounce land. The bounce lands get me. Oh, yeah. Mm, whatever, I'm not attacking with that thing. I guess I could have left my uh, brown scale behind. What? Search your library for up to oh. three creature cards, reveal them, so sh shuffle your library, and then put those cards on top in any order. Yeah, this is fine. This card does not seem very good. These are not. This has Vigilance too. Nice. I really wish I had my brown scale on top. In case they can kill this. Oh yeah, last gasp was better than Disembowel. You're right, OX. Yeah, they, they're not gonna be able to kill it. You'll be fine. Uh, Luby Hype, they did this at some Grand Prix or some Pro Tour a couple years ago. They did an uh, IRL sushi draft and so boxes like a little like bento box with sushi was being passed around and then people would get to pick one of them and put it into their plate and then i think it was like nate price and rich hagan got to do the cover like the quote-unquote coverage of it so they would just comment on people's picks and stuff and they would go around and like do little player interviews about why they picked the things that they picked it was funny yeah it seemed pretty sweet so playing the donut game always makes me want donuts this is horrible. What? Aren't they? They, they must have like, what, what creatures did they get? Razia? Right, just putrefy or whatever. Hunted dragon? You can putrefy that too. Jesus, they get they got all rares? Oh, yeah, thank you. What do I do? I kind of want to block. They have to have something. They have to have Gaze of the Gorgon? It has to be Gaze. You could just take it. I yeah, kind of don't want it. to. You just attack yeah. Them. yeah. You could just attack them back and have Putrefy up for if they try. Though you do have... Oh, actually, wait, no. Maybe blocking would have been I better. passed. Sorry. I'm just thinking. Oh, you wouldn't have enough mana now. This is fine. So they didn't play anything? Nope. What is going on here? I'm extremely confused. What do they have? I don't know, just beat them down. Alright, I'm gonna slay. I'm slaying with everybody, I think. Yeah. You also have Vigilance, too. No, they definitely have something, but... Uh... That's just a weird play. I wanna hold up... Just play your... What? Yeah, just play your Bounce Land. Like, I don't get to don't cast anything, though. Land. I just get to cast my Bounce Land and... Okay. Yeah. Just confirming. See, now we can block and have Putrefy up, and it's great. Tamago just holds so many decks together, I can't believe people pick Tuna or even Shrimp and Gary over it. <laughs> like, people are talking, people are talking strategy about the... We did play Bunny Kingdom. It did not make me want to eat any rabbits. No, though. it was fine. I didn't love it. I think I would play it if somebody I knew just had Yeah. The deck or like the, the game rather, but I wouldn't go out of my way to What 
What is going on, dude? I don't know. I'm extremely confused. Kind of want to slay with this. Yeah, just attack with that thing. So what does uh, Gaze of the Gorgon do, or Hex of the Gorgon, or whatever it is? It regenerates a creature and, and destroys all creatures blocked or blocked by it. At the end of oh, the four mana thing? Yeah. I think you, if they cast that, I think you can just let it happen. Because you can just go turnkey, replay Guardian. When Mausoleum Turkey enters the battlefield, return target creature an opponent from an opponent's choice from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, I think I'm gonna let it go. And then mm. we get to putrefy one of these things. Yeah, that seems good. How come pros really get decks posted on Magic Online? I don't understand the question. Like if we're talking about like the decks of the day, like I don't know, wizards choose them however they choose them. Also, most pros have multiple accounts, and if they don't want to show a deck, they'll just play it under just like a secret account or whatever. And they have multiples of them too. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh yeah. That was a nice little two for. Yeah, it was. This, Look at that efficiency. this card team is very good. 4 7 is yeah. impossible to kill. It's not as good as Siege Worm, but it's still got uh, a good amount of stats and yeah, it's pretty decent. It's just a cost one more, unfortunately. The Ashina Fangtail deals one damage to target creature or player. I don't know, slay with these two. Oh, this is a. Th well, they this is a. Th yeah, they, they have the veteran armor yeah. out, so. Might just attack with the guardian. Yeah, fair enough. You kind of want to hex them anyway at some point. Well, now I'm just going to blow them out. Yeah, I think so. Well, I can't kill both of these. This is what, a 3 3 normally? What you can do is you can putrefy the, the fang tail, and then you'd kill the other oh, two. Oh, they chickened up. Mm. That works. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play the carrot to pass. Boop. Chikorino. Oh, God, I... Oh, well. Yep. I, I played it and just, like, snapped it off. All right. You're fine. You're fine. Flying Vigilance Haste, the next three damage that would be dealt to target creature you control this turn is dealt to another creature this turn instead. Alright, I'm just gonna putrefy that thing. Yep. Well. I mean, you can't lose. They're, they actually just are dead. You could even not show them putrefy eh. if you wanted to, but it doesn't matter. I like to see my opponent's hopes and dreams disappear in front of my eyes. Because you can just glare tap down three yeah, things and that's then the plan. kill them. Especially when you cast glare, it's pretty good. Uh, did we see? We saw a couple flyers. Do we have anything against flyers? I don't think so. We, we don't have a, a Elvis Skysweeper. Sundering Vitae doesn't do anything. Yeah, you're good. Your deck is great. All right, let's send it in. I feel like it'll be 100% on BGX grinding nonsense in this format. Yeah, you probably like that a lot, right? You probably draft Demir a lot too. Yeah, I like Demir and like Golgari splashing. Yeah, a that lot. sounds your, like your kind of nonsense. Side an infectious host. <laughs> Never infectious host. Never. I 
want to keep it, I think. Oh yeah, that sounds great. I wish we had a bounce land. Yeah. As usual, bounce lands are so good. The only drawback is when you're on the draw and you play them, you, you have to discard unless you've drawn. Oh, a... that's right, because you draw up too high. Huh. Yeah. Hmm, that's pretty good. For them? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was good. Just drawing a cheap creature so you can start getting the scatter train mm -hmm. rolling. This blocks this fine, I guess. It does die. This would be sweet if it were a 1 3. Yes. If you just added stats to the card, it would be better. I Come agree. on! <laughs> what? I don't want to block because I want to scatter next turn. I like the idea. No! That's fine. Your opponent's kind of going ham over Jesus. here. Screeching Griff. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, yeah, Stick Group would be sweeter as a 1 3, but it'd also be sweeter than that as a 2 3. And I think if it was like a 3 3, it'd be really oh, sweet. Stop. What about a 4 3? Would it stop being sweet if you become stop. a 4 3? Stop! <laughs> Do we want to put two things here in front of this? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Right. Especially since at some point, if they play like two more creatures, you might end up in a position where you're like, hex your four creatures and my two creatures or something. Ooh. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, because we can do that and also scatter. Yeah. Isn't playing with Convoke kind of fun Yeah, sometimes? I do. I like it. Show me what you Ooh, get. they got something. Hey, Spartan! Oh, they have scatter also. Trickerino. Sparta with a 10 month resub. Thank you for 10 months in a row. Can we get some Viper love and hype in chat for Spartan's 10 month return? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ooh. I think I just. Can they cast Goliath Spider? Can what? Yeah, I'd probably just take Yeah, and we'll let them keep Gaze of the Gorgon. Regenerate target creature at this turn's next end. Of combat, destroy all creatures that blocked or were blocked by it this turn. All right. Like one advantage to taking Gaze of the Gorgons if they draw a land and play Goliath Spider, you just get to hex them completely. But I think this is good. You just hope they draw a creature next turn. Oh, you don't need to main phase that if you don't want to. Oh. Yeah, that was my my B. Yeah, don't attack the sapling. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, that's good. They could have gotten free to three three extra points of damage. Oh yeah, they drew a creature. Yep, this is perfect. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is a six this is a satisfying clicks. Blowout. Oh my god. Hex is just silly. Look at this. Your opponent's like glare and hex. Wow, this is dumb. <laughs> oh my like, god. This is a, this is like a can't I can't believe it moment. You you know they're having the I can't believe this moment. Yes. Yep, this is definitely the, like, we're typing in chat right now moment. You, you definitely get that. That was too... And you actually have a reasonably fast That was too, too good. Mana tides? Oh, come on. Oh, 
What is this? Wow, your first deck is pretty good. Sunhelm Enforcer, four mana. Whenever it deals combat damage, you gain that much life. It gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Um, I think I'm just gonna disembowel it. Yeah, that seems good. What is this? Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. If green was spent to cast it, the other creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter. Do we have anything good? Mm -hmm. Nope. But if you dredge Nightmare Void, you might hit something. Mm, that could be sweet. I'll disembowel this for five. One, two, three, four, five. Your deck is really good. I think their deck is pretty good too, right? Yeah, your deck is good. <laughs> sure. Press F to play respects. <laughs> I just contemplated selling some cards for my binder. Getting vintage game is almost impossible where I live. Thoughts on Power 9 Dual Lands holding value long term. I think Luis will have much better advice here than I do because I actually don't own any power. Uh, long term, I think that the old cards and have held their value pretty well. Uh, if you don't need the money, my guess is you should not sell it. In general, selling mag like old magic cards has not been a good idea. Like You should just keep them because... Uh, magic cards tend to go up in value. There's actually a run on like reserve list cards right now. It doesn't make any there's sense. There's a what? Like, Sorry. Like there's been like a buyout. Oh. Of reserve. So like, cards like King Solomon, Old Man of the Sea, and like, Sword of Ages, just a bunch of cards you've never heard of, are now like a hundred something dollars for just no reason. No one ever plays them just because they're old. They dredged the brown scale? That is weird. Maybe they just wanted to make sure they had a creature. I'm gonna dredge. Yeah. Oil pound crown is just absurd. Hmm. Nothing sweet. Hmm. Uh their last card can't be good, right? It's a uh, gaze of the Gorgon. Oh yeah. that's right. Do we take it away? Yeah, might as well. You can just slay. Wow, are you going to be 9 0 in Ravnica draft? I think so. Maybe. What's it like? I, I should just retire, go out on top. Yeah. They just played their land, they snap played their land. Yeah, I guess they did. Wow, you, you did it. Yeah, I, I just need a I need to retire right now, another. <laughs> did three drafts and the story. Yet I see no trophies. Hmm. Oh, hold on. I need to send an email real quick. No trophies? Oh. But I trophied yesterday. Oh, I'm in my Gabby Sports account. Yeah, I know. Oh, you knew this. One year. <laughs> oh, two a red mirror on. breaker with a one year resub. Thank you. Thank you for the entire year of support. That is a very long time, my friend. Since it is your subversary today, you get a choice of of cherry cupcake, lavender cupcake. You tell me which one you like. People didn't like lavender cupcakes. Maybe I should call it grape. But great cupcakes. Lavender's, lavender's real fancy. But it, tell me that's not what this is. Oh, you can't see my camera. That's right, I forgot. Never mind. Hold on, let me look. I need to send. Okay, I can actually see you holding it. That that looks like it could be lavender. Look, that look, lavender is look, fancy look, 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 look. Just watch it again. Okay. Grape does sound bad. Grape, you can't have grape cupcakes. I just don't believe that. Yeah. Okay, let me just send this email real quick. One second.
Good time is a good time for me. Yeah, Team Fortress should be cool. That logic holds up tabs. Chat, what questions do you have? They don't have to be worm related, but they can be. Best worm in magic. Roar of the worm is pretty good. What is my favorite worm? Uh, worm no worm coil engine. That 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 counts. I don't think Gabby's favorite worm is that. I that I can't answer. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm back. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Pick one back on Sandstorm Titan or Glory Bringer. I'll take the legendary. Hey, Opacane! Opacane also with a one year resub! One year down. A million oh, thank more you down. so much, Opacane! Not leaving your side boobs, Eva. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Opacane. Since this is a sub anniversary for you too, you get to also choose again lavender or cherry. You get a cherry or a motor oil cupcake, whichever. Or what? Motor oil cupcake, you said? <laughs> also, two red mirror breaker. Uh, what did you choose? What did you choose? Ooh, you got paired for your match. One second. I just want to see what two red mirror breaker picked. Lavender all day. Bam. One second. I'm going to have to rematch. Let me just write it out real quick. Two R R R. <laughs> motor oil cupcake. Stop. Feels good, man. <laughs> Mirror breaker. Chat, can I can I can I tell you an honest truth? None of the cupcakes are edible. They're all just stop. <laughs> Don't ruin the illusion. Here is your lavender cupcake. Thank you so much, Tara Red Mirror Breaker. I appreciate all of the support. A whole year is a very long time. Thank you so much for being part of this community. And what is open cane pick? Hmm, hasn't picked yet. Okay. I'm gonna rejoin this queue. I like lavender stuff too a lot. Uh, Mirror Breaker. Lavender tastes great. Do you want to know the difference between a worm, a dragon, and a dragon? I do know that a worm is basically a dragon without wings. But it's a worm with a U. How can you resist the wasabi ice cream? <laughs> no, but you can have a lavender cupcake. You can totally have lavender flavored things. Alright, time to 3 this baby. Oh yeah. yeah I'm gonna keep it. This thing is great. We keep not opening all of our colors. Yeah, but it's fine. So yeah, worm is a wingless dragon. I also didn't know that, and I learned, and I was like, what? It blew my mind. So unlucky we never get to do anything with our mana. Yeah. You see a swamp, and then you'll be fine. Hey Seth, this is the last round. Yeah. Dead Pine with the 11 month resub. Thank you for the 11 month in a row. Can we get Gabby the love? And hi, big chat for Dead Pine's 11 month return. Dead Pine, how's it going? How's the stream arena going? Wish this were a black source. You could putrefy, get him. Hmm. Black. Boom. Black. Perfect. Yeah. Um, just house guard, I think. 
Yeah, that sounds good. Good, lots of Minecraft and PUBG. Nice. I didn't go to GamesCon, I went to Gen Con. And Gen Con was awesome. Got to play lots of games. What's GamesCon? Uh, it's, it was going on, uh, it's going on right now, actually, I think. It was, was going on a couple of, I don't know where it is, it's just like a gaming convention also. What deck is this? This is... Chubb! A 14 month resub! Thank you for the 14 months in a row! Gabby, I love, appreciate hope you're it. having a great day, smile. I am having a wonderful day, thank you for asking, Chubb. You guys can we get some upper love and hype in chat for Chubb? What is this? Oh, that's fine. Oh, are we playing against Mill? Maybe. The blue decks will just play Snapping Drakes a lot of the time. No, but what about the Vidalcan Entrancer? Yeah. Or sorry, they'll play Entrancer a lot of the times. Right? Um. Now I kind of like just Rotworm and Bash, and you can just start racing them. Well, yeah, sure. Let's go. Uh, Kimmy's, I don't know what a fame day playmat is. A fame day playmat? Wait, what? Who asked you what? Yeah, I don't know. Am I afraid against playing someone with a fame day playmat? Oh, there's, they meant game day. And they're asking if you're scared about playing against a person yeah. playing a... Also, Opakane, you gotta pick your cupcake. Not particularly, because I'm not particularly scared about playing against anyone at the Pro Tour. Yeah, but what about a play? Th this was just funny because, uh, hey, this uh, mausoleum turnkey is going to be nice. Oh, yeah. Let's talk turkey. I wish we uh, had a swamp to suck it. Hey, Silver King, what was your question? Sorry, you can ask it again. What deck is this? It's uh, Ravnica. City of... It's a busted Ravnica City of deck. Guilds. I'm going to slay and then play turnkey, I think. Yeah, I like it. Kind of annoying that if you uh, turn key and they mill you in response, you could brick. Oh, should I not then? I'd still do it. No, no, I would do it, but it's just funny. They might not also know. I did not. Well, to be fair, I just don't even really know what any of these cards do, but they they might also not know. See, they're they're gonna go for it. Oh, bam! Oh, damn. Paste. You went for it. You move tomorrow? Damn. Good luck. Moving is hard. Are you scared of anything in general? People are scared of all sorts of things, but they're not necessarily game day playmats. <laughs> not so much. Enchant creature, enchanted creature doesn't untap during its control or untap stuff, attacks. Attach stasis cell to a target creature. Annoying. I think I'm on the glare of subdual plan now. Oh, this isn't gonna tap. That sucks. Yeah. I could use this to tap this though. Yeah, you could carry it and hope to draw a land. <laughs> and if you miss, just cast Farseek. You could cast Glitter, but you only have one creature out. Cast... I don't know. I like, I I like, like casting... Heritage plan. Yeah. Because I think you want to get more lands into play because you're like... I don't know. Your draw is a little... Like, you want to be able to play two spells one turn. I guess I'll get a Swamp. Yeah. All right. Fine. Yeah, I'm not super like, worried. Like once you play a glare, they just have to they stop attacking you, and then you can like putrefy the the entrancer. I, this day, game does feel like your hands is a little clogged. At some point, you like you want to cast like nightmare void and strands. Like you have all these cards you want to cast, so trying to get them out of your hand is unfortunate. Wait, is Fame Day actually a thing? I don't think so. 
can't be blocked. Oh god. They have their own glare? Yeah. That's funny. You might want to take the opportunity to strand their last two cards that you can't do anything else this turn, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, and I can't even play my Garden of Vitagazi. Yeah. Drawing a land there would have been really yeah. good. Yeah. Like, you have six cards in your hand, they have none, so you're up a ton on cards. You just need to make sure not to die. Let's see what we get. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And. Oh, wow. No, we we got good stuffs. Yeah. Drying seeds would be good. Wow, yeah, scatter the seeds would be a great draw. You're gonna attack you in a three? Jeez. Alright, you're doing you're doing fine. That's good. So we just wanna glare. Yeah, you can like glare and you can like putrefy the entrancer and then glare and then that way you're lo you've locked down kind of all their stuff. Sure. Do I do I care to do it now? Because I don't want it to untap too, right? Yeah. All right. So I'll putrefy this. I think I want to upkeep stop. Okay. The glare mirror. This is dumb. So. Straight. You're glaring each other down. So I want to. What are they going to say? Glare mirror, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just do it, right? Oh, yeah. Tap you. I see you. They're going to tap this here, and then I tap that here. <laughs> Stupid. It's great. You can even start tapping down their signet because it taps down artifacts. Oh. <laughs> well, we need more critters. Whoa. Asper. What does Vigor Mortis do again? Return target your card from your graveyard to the battlefield. We don't have. So what you can, what you can do is you can play Demir House Guard and sack. You can play House Guard, sack the Rotworm, and then Vigor Mortis Rotworm. Oh, that is so. That's so good. I like it. Yeah. I need double black for this, so like that. Oh, I don't have enough to figure mortis this turn. Yeah, you, you haven't played a land yet. No, but I need f I need four black to do all this. No, you only need, you need three black. How? I this is one, two. Oh yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Uh. Well. You could sack Rotworm for yourself if you have more mana, but you don't. So I think this works out just fine. You have what? No, you're good. You, you want to eat it with the house guard, not with its own ability. Oh, I see. That's what I had wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, can we slay? We can slay with uh, Mausoleum Turnkey. Yeah, and then you can even lock down their yeah, signet. Yeah, I'm gonna lock down their signet and their two creatures. Sick. <laughs> Thanks. That was a sweet play. Yeah, dude, I would have not seen that. I am having trouble, like, <laughs> remembering what all these creatures do. Playing flashback formats is kind of stressful. Oh, yeah, it's it's definitely, like... Especially when it's, like... You, you, it's like learning an entirely new draft format, except the cards are all like older and more complicated and worse. Yes. 
Cubs, I will not be at Indy. Luis won't be either. Thank you, my dog's name Pig. I appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely night. Later, my dog's named Pig. Pigarino. Okay, we won the mirror. The glare down. Maybe we won Sundering Vite? Yeah, I like it. That glare is just so stupid once it happens. You could just take out Golgari Brandscale like you do every time. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Poor guy. Our curve's kind of bad, huh? I think its scales are so brown because it's covered in crap. <laughs> Poor guy, he's just a hardworking lizard. Yeah, I'm just sitting here shitting on him. <laughs> We were in Indy last weekend. We missed it by. A... It was good times. It was. It is funny having Gen Con and GP Indy like right back. Yeah, back I, back I was back. wondering why that why that is, like. I wonder if there's a reason to schedule them that way. Yeah. I like it. Do you want to keep it? Oh yeah, just draw a Golgari rock farm and you're good. Okay, I guess I should have clarified. I think I want to keep this, but I'm nervous. Because I don't think you can mulligan a hand like this. Yeah. Wait, what did you say you want to draw? Golgari rock farm. Not a double black card. A double black card is very Yeah. Will I be at DC? Uh, I don't think so. I don't... I don't even know what the next GP I'm going to is. I don't have anything in the books right now. I will be at TwitchCon. Going to PAX instead. Yes, I will be at PAX also. I will be at PAX West and I will be at TwitchCon. Oh, well, PAX is the weekend at GPDC. Oh, yeah, so. All right, PR GP experience. Just go to these other things <laughs> yeah. instead. Choose a player, the player adds one man of any color he or she chooses his mana pool. Why can you choose? Why does it let you target? That's so weird. Mana burn used to be a thing. You could just burn them out with it. It was pretty dumb. Jesus, look at all these scatters, dude. Yeah, this is kind of unfortunate. Do we People want to Sundering Vitae this thing? It's not the worst. You're not doing anything. And like, I don't know. They have a lot of colors in their deck. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, that seems fine. Used to cost mana burn an opponent when it still existed. I guess if that was a thing, I can understand uh, that card. It's just so weird that you can choose. Ooh, Dokomoi. Are, are you in San Francisco? Or sorry, uh, it's in uh, Long Beach, TwitchCon. I've seen this card before. Transmute for three, Defender and Flying. All right, that's fine. Okay, well... Once we get another land or a creature, we can get rolling on Scatter of the Seeds. With three Scatters, once the first one happens, you just get to explode. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, you're pretty close in Tokomo. Yeah, sweet. I'll, I'll let you know for sure. What do you think they're transmuting for for three? Uh, two drop, I think. I don't know why I bother asking you questions sometimes, you know? Because <laughs> sometimes I have good answers. Yeah, and sometimes you say things good like thing. that. Yeah. Land! Swamp. Yeah. I mean, I just want to scatter, right? Yeah. I mean, you could I kill could Demir Guildmage. I could brain this. But if you, if you scatter, then next turn you can still kill it and scatter. Scatters. Scatters. It's like so much more efficient. Yeah. yeah to... I'll just pass, I think. Plus, if they attack, you can just scatter and block. block. It's just a 2-2. Two -two. Baby little Demir Guild Mage. Guild Mage Reno, mm -hmm. as they say. Oh, I'm going to get him. The most obvious scatter in the world. Not that I expect my opponent to play around stuff. In oh, no, they have a there. counter. What? Five? 
What is this? Ah. Can you get milled? Can they milled your glare? God, that was so bad. Brutal. I don't want to dredge. No, I don't think so. Well, now if I kill Ooh. it, I can play my rot farm. You could also just scatter and play your rot farm. Eh, that's fine, actually. Because that way you can also dis bring a land back to discard if they end up... Uh... Making me? Yeah. No, oh, battle are great. Yeah. That just drew us yeah, a land. So good. Yeah. Snapping Drake. We have no way of getting that uh, enchantment back from our yard, huh? Mm -mm. I would just have been drawing cards with that guild mage or something. So stupid drakes. Might want to kill the guild mage now. It's probably getting kind of annoying. Yeah. You could also uh, you could also nightmare void. I was gonna say. Oh. To get what? Just whatever's in their hand. I don't know. Kind of want to just kill this. I would just kill it. Yeah. Um. Well, if you if you disembowel the guild mage, then you can play something else. Oh no, I guess you could if you brainspoil, you can also play something else. It because you can still scatter. Yeah, my brain spell I can scatter. I think I want to do that. Yeah, that, that's pretty oh, nice, God. actually. No, you're right. Ding dong. All right. Yeah, this is yeah, fine. This, I mean, it's not great. I'm not happy that the glare is in my yard, but... Yeah, like... It's annoying, but I still think you have enough wind conditions. You still have a siege room lurking somewhere. Good be witch. What? What? What is this? Yeah. Whatever. At least we didn't get condescended. I hate getting condescended. I, let's nightmare now, I yeah. think. I like doing that. 3x? Well, let's find out what's going on in their hand. Because they could have like random green cards in their hand that they haven't been had to found the mana to to, yep. to to cast them with. <laughs> there we go. Well, yeah, we just take this, right? Yeah. I think Target so. force becomes a four four black and green land creature. Yeah, because we can uh, disembowel this. You can thing. just kill that. All right. Yeah, you can't kill the bye glare. Bye bye glare. Uh, and then stink we didn't deals with the stupid Drake, and you get to yeah, attack. Yeah, I'm gonna Damn. slay. Is Naya her code name? <laughs> it is a sweet code name. <laughs> yes, they don't even have any forests. Also, I'm never condescending to Gabby. Come on. Wait, what? Someone said, you hate getting condescended and you're dating me. <laughs> you are conde not condescending. You're not condescending. I don't... What? Oh, wow. That's stupid. Mm. Whatever. It's fine. I don't think you're condescending. You are... Um... I'm waiting for it. And what? I'm trying to figure out what the word is. I don't, I don't think it's condescending. I guess I'll just... Charming. Wait, excuse me, charming? You went with charming out of all those things? <laughs> all these adjectives and you chose yes. charming. Uh, I have a choice to dredge. They don't have green. I could dredge this. You can't cast it yet, so you, you just draw it on, on your next turn. What can we get? Ooh, the turkey? What's your worst creature? What? This is our worst creature? Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is a uh, sorcery. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's our worst yeah. creature. Dope. Yeah. Yes. I don't think he's snarking. He's sarcastic. 
Um, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know that we need to be trying to describe What is the word chat? Help me find it. Oh, that's not, that's not the direction I would like to go. I'm going to dredge it. Oh, but then my, maybe my turkey's not going to be as good. Yeah, I like not dredging it because of that. I'm going to turkey. Yeah. Don't talk for planes, don't talk for planes. Because you can still play the thing. What thing? You can still play the Guardian, right? Oh, yes. Excuse me. Out. So I don't want to tap my, my planes. Yeah. All right. Turkey. Perfect. Thank you, the Paris Commune. Appreciate it. Civilized studios. Civilized homicidal brute? Is, did somebody say homicidal brute? Or... Complete gentleman, yeah. Complete oh, uh... gentleman. <laughs> Uh, the turkey has pretty bad blocks on everything. All right. Antagonistic. Thrun. What? Uh, now what? I'm gonna. Yeah. yeah, that seems good. You might, you might want to kill that uh, entrancer at some point here too. Oh, because otherwise it's gonna mill us out. Yeah. Boop. Uh, what do we mill? Strands and a land. I'll kill that next turn. I'm gonna slay with. Yeah. You can't even. You don't even have attacks. I don't no. think. Sad. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll attack next turn. I'll have some bowel too. Oh, they got your lurking in for me. Thank you, Dugongs. Mm -hmm. Hey, take yeah, That's cool. Uh, do I want to disembowel, or do I want to attack and then disembowel, or embowel and just like, attack? Well, you can disembowel it, then, and then you can play Shambling Shell, oh. and that way your guardian can attack. That's great. I like it. All right, uh, Vidalkin and Trancer, right? One, yeah. two, three, four, five. five. Ooh, that's a good combo, Keyblade. What is? Stone Scar Maul, Ice Quake, and Eternal. What does it do? It gives you Overwhelm, and then you play to deal three to all units, and it just overwhelms a bunch of oh, them. Oh, that's pretty cool. You could send in the, the turkey, yeah, too. Yeah, turkey either just pillow fights or whatever. Yeah. I don't want to send those, think we don't, though, because I really don't want to take three from this. Yeah, I think you're going to like start one to at some point, but not yet. Oh, yeah, shambling shell. Get in Bam. There so they don't have anything. Now they just got got. Oh, yeah, that was really good for you. Yeah, we can start slaying. You could actually dredge Shambling Shell. So this is a combat trick? We're at 10, and how much yeah. does it mill? It mills just one. Three. Or no, no that's, that, this one's three, never mind. Yeah, maybe yeah, you I don't, don't think I want to. Actually. Yeah. Does Demir House. Can we. There's, is there anything at four that we can get with Demir House Guard? No, your glare and your bigger mortars are both gone. Mm. Alright, I'm just gonna slam with everybody, I think. Except the stink we dump. Yeah. I, I wouldn't talk the tokens yet, I don't think. Just the, the 3 2 and the 5 8. I think next turn. Sure. Like, they're gonna block the 2 2 on the turkey, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, and then next turn we just have much better attacks also. Yeah. Boop. Dude, we're gonna go undefeated. Yeah, we lost glare. Yeah, we lost the glare. I was in the yard. Game. I think we're like all locked to win this game just a bit. Yeah, woo! Beautiful. Look at that. Would you look at that? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Completed the league. Got another trophy around the draft. Thank you. I'm not even gonna make the 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 confetti joke. What is a confetti joke? 
I was gonna make it, you know, I made a joke about I've never seen it on the stream before, but I've actually seen it a bunch. You've been winning a lot of your drafts lately. Thanks. <laughs> Thank oh, you, chat. Look welcome. at all the we in chat. See, chat's excited. Chat's happy for me, unlike you. We can three oh and you're like, whatever, I guess. <laughs> what? I'm happy for you. <laughs> Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, you can see more of these videos on youtube.com slash Gabby Sparts. And if you want to catch the stream live, you can do that by going to twitch.tv slash Gabby Sparts. I stream every weekday in the afternoons, central times. Thanks for watching, YouTube.